few miles down the dirt rural road, we found ourselves at the Blue Ridge foothills on the final days of autumn, searching for the unpopular, underrated waterfall hike. Here we are at Montgomery Falls. Got the three musketeers today. All right, so here we are at Montgomery Falls and Lower Black Falls. With a little bit of research that we've done, we know it's gonna be 544 feet of elevation gain. Let's go. Damn, man, all these leaves. Slippery. Whoa. <laughs> gotta be careful with your footsteps now, my lord. Fall now. I read this on all trails. It's like really slippery with these leaves at this time of year. Beautiful day. Unfortunately, most leaves are gone, but you know, it's okay. Something interesting about all the trees out here. They do not compete for their roots. They do not compete for the sunlight. They share it. It's like a nice unity. It's this community. It's like this unspoken thing that happens between these trees. It makes this beautiful environment. So it's this symbiosis that happens where it's not this huge competition between each other. It's this huge community that they make. And that's what makes this beautiful forest. I wouldn't do that. Jesus, dude. Nearly hidden from the trail, bottom of the ridge around here was Lower Black Falls. All right, here we go. I found a nice wishbone tree. <laughs> so it remains to be seen what the quality of this trail will be, but what's unique about it is it's only 15 minutes away from Dahlonega, a really high profile area. Why are you very talking nice Mason, not me? Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> with a very high profile area with very many restaurants, tons of things to do, and it's only 15 minutes away from downtown. That tree is going to fall like I know, it's tomorrow. It was along the like, river side, and it was quite nice when we first started off. It's pretty beautiful. On all trails, it shows that we go across the creek here, so let's go. Don't step over here. I'll be able to do this without getting wet. <laughs> Man, it's to not get wet. <laughs> it's also a Saturday in the middle of the day, usually a very popular time to hike. Not a marked trail, so yeah. you kind of just got to go by the goat path that was already paved out by some people walking on yeah. it. This tree is pretty interesting here. It looks different than a lot of fallen trees. This one like dried up and just splintered like crazy instead of just falling apart in this one huge bit. You got like a large opening here. Hey, you guys wanna know what's funny? We're uh, way off trail. This was kind of like a red flag. We're like, okay, why are we out of road? When in doubt with waterfall hikes, just follow the stream. Looks like the trail goes that way, but it actually goes this way. So we're gonna go check out the falls now. <laughs> so here's the correct way. Let's go! Woo! Oh, it's getting steep. It's a good workout. Looks like most of that 500 feet elevation gain is during this part of the trail. So here we are coming up with this hike. This family's just coming down from it. Yeah, so it's Alex's 30th birthday. Um, yeah. Alex and I have, I guess, spent the past like seven years just hiking Meeting together. And this one's special because we're gonna bring our family, uh, show them the rope. If you look at it from the top, it's not as impressive, but when you get down there, it's a lot, a lot nicer. Was this hike worth it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Getting down to the waterfall was really cool, so. Awesome. Chasing waterfalls.
All right, go. Here we are, Mount Cumbery Falls. For a hike as unpopular as this, I was expecting a smaller waterfall. I think one reason why is because it's not like a platform or an area where you can view it properly. What I find unique about this waterfall is that it splits off right through the middle of it. it looks really cool. When you're down here, not gonna lie, I think it's a very underrated waterfall. When you're crossing over the rocks, it looks just like Tiger Eye, which is very artistic, but also the big pool, mainly in the summer months, if the rapids aren't too much, looks like a uh, relatively safe area to play in the water. How oh, you guys need these shoes? Wow. I mean, honestly, it's just it's a hidden gem. I think it's my second favorite. Why not come here? If you're in the city of Lanaga, make it out to here. What would you rate the difficulty of this trail? All right, so the difficulty, it's not too long, 2.5 miles. There is some elevation gain. And so there's also different parts of the trail where it splits off. So if you're not paying attention, you can get a little lost and add some time to your uh, um, travels. Um, but I would rate it probably a five out of 10. Not too long, a little steep at times, but doable. Like I said down there, I thought it was like my second favorite waterfall in Georgia, just in that its proximity to Dahlonega, Super a major cool. city, you know, a North Georgia mountain town that's beautiful, and it's a wonderful waterfall. I would give it a seven out of 10. Overall, this hike to Montgomery Falls and Lower Black Falls is an underrated waterfall hike near the North Georgia mountain town Dahlonega. I highly recommend a visit. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day.